Do you want to just look? Maybe. Let's try to stay like that. I'm going to pressure in that area in particular. Let's try not to move. Three, two, one. Hi, you are my afternoon appointment. How are you doing? <laughs> Great, so you're here today for high definition eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Is this your first time trying this? Well, let me tell you what it is. As you know, uh, our treatment consists on tinting your eyebrows, which is not permanent, but it lasts around two months. We also do the eyebrow lifting, which means that your eyebrow hair is going to stay in any position that you want. It could be with the new trend where the eyebrows like uh, look like very hairy to the top, almost like a caterpillar, a hairy caterpillar, uh, or the simple way, which is to the size, depending on what's your taste. And we also, uh, if you want, we can do uh, a little bit of microblading that doesn't consist on any needles or pain. Uh, this is uh, only, it's not as permanent as microblading because microblading lasts around two years to three years. And this technique lasts for, let's say, almost a year. But what it does only is shape your eyebrow. Let's say that you don't have a little tail or you don't have the curvature of your eyebrow. We can create it with this technique. The tinting, what it does, it just fills up your eyebrow and it looks um, color for around two months, as I was saying. Yeah, they are all included in the package, the high definition eyebrow package. You want to go ahead with it? Okay. Excellent. Well, yeah, it doesn't consist of needles. It's more like a um, laser treatment with ink it doesn't hurt it might feel a little bit warm but there is no pain involved at all I can assure you that so let me start by shaking your eyebrows I'm gonna be putting a mask because I will be very close to you and so I don't want to breathe right into your face okay so let's see your eyebrows needs. So do you want to just look and wake up like you just had your eyebrows done? Okay. So your eyebrows naturally flow to this side. We have, okay. What we can do here is, with the treatment, um, just put them into place. Yes. Let me give you an example, like hair gel. You put on hair gel and it dries up and your hair stays in the position that you put it. Yeah. But if you wash your hair, it's going to be completely gone, right? But with this, it's going to seal your eyebrow in the direction that you want. And last for around two months so do you want it in the direction that you currently have them okay so now let me tell you uh, it's gonna be in that set position but for two months but during that time your eyebrows are gonna grow so there might be a few hairs that are gonna be in the position that we have we're gonna place this so just be aware of that and if we want to do the design that I was telling you about we might have to trim some of your eyebrows you want to go ahead with it? okay and about the tint um, don't really see that you need that much we could only just 
put like a shade of color and it will be enough we, or in case that you want it to be very bold we can put two to three shades and it's gonna be looking like heavy makeup heavy eyebrow makeup well with shade one it will be just like one pass with a pencil very soft very light but it still looks with uh, color in it with two shades uh, I know it's a bit more but three shades it will be very dramatic color almost like black mm. shade number one that's okay let's see mm, yeah definitely shade one now looking at the shape of your eyebrow it looks very pretty I must say Oh. I'll only just add a little bit more defining into the tail just so it looks sharper right here and a tiny bit here mm. do you normally trim your eyebrows too much here? Mm. okay so you have some overgrown here that we're gonna trim we're just gonna use the, the tweezers for that and then we're gonna go ahead with the tinting okay let me just clean the area could you close your eyes please? It's pretty fast actually. We are not creating a whole eyebrow like with microblading. We are just improving uh, making your eye your eyebrows that you already have into a high definition like you're wearing makeup. Kind of like tricking <laughs> a little hack. Okay. So let's just use my tweezers here. It doesn't hurt. Well, I'm very good with this. Years and years of practice. There we go. Just need the latest shade here. Just it. Let me get. Okay, we're gonna shave on the top part just a bit. Like that. You don't need that much. So, in this area, let me just. Looks good. Just gonna cut the overgrown. Okay. Good. That's it. Let's take out the excess hair. Now they are trimmed. Actually, they look very well just defined. So, mm, just gonna do a little bit here of the micro laser here and here. You're not gonna need that much though. That's good. Yeah, sometimes all we need is a good trim and even just using our our tweezers 
should be enough to completely define our eyebrow. Okay, let's go with the tint. Gonna go with this tone here. Mm. Not gonna be that much. As I was saying, we're just gonna go with a tiny layer. We want it to look as natural as we can. Yeah, I it's kind of like henna, but henna turns to fade into a kind of yellowish color with time. With this, it doesn't happen. It just fades away completely. It doesn't turn to a different color. Yeah, that's what is good about this one. So we are just going to fill up your eyebrows with the tint. It takes around a minute or two for it to be absorbed by the skin. you of the aftercare just in a bit it's pretty easy just for the next 24 hours um, don't wash your uh, face don't try not to sweat I know it can be a little bit difficult especially if we're in the summer but those are the only two rules just for 24 hours so we let the ink completely settle into your skin Put the sealer on top. This is what you're gonna seal the ink into your eyebrow. just gonna let it dry. No, it takes around a minute and I'm gonna be preparing the micro laser mm. right here. Oh, we're just gonna be doing it in the little tail. Fortunately you don't need that much. Now let me tell you once this touches your skin, it's going to feel a little bit warm, but it shouldn't be feeling too hot or burning at all. If at any moment you feel it, please let me know because it's not normal. It could be an allergic reaction, okay? Let me just fill this up so we can put the ink in it. There we go. Okay, now it's looking good. I think it's time. Yeah, it's time. We just run up the axis. Okay, close your eyes, please. Mm, beautiful. Slightly tint. Not too much. But it looks like just your color of eyebrows. Very nice shading for you. Okay, let's go with 
the little tail. I'm gonna do a test touch. Okay. Can you feel this? How does it feel? Slightly warm? Okay. Very good. So it's okay. Let's just define this little tail very slightly. Not to overdo it. Like that. Very nice. Okay, this is like a coloring book, you know. You do the tracing, then you just fill it up. Okay. Oh, that looks like a big change. I completely changed the eyebrow because when you're having a very sharp tail, it just looks like you're wearing makeup. Okay, let's do it here. Try not to move. There we go. Let me seal it, okay? gonna be wet. Good. This is just a sealer. Let's see how it looks. Mm. Very, very nice. Now let me prepare the permanent solution for the lifting. Now let me tell you that this has a strong aroma, kind of like alcohol. So if it feels too much, let me let me know if you want a mask, and it's, it's going to help you with the with the fumes. Just wait. You can still perceive it, yeah. It's pretty strong, isn't it? So this should be enough just for your eyebrows. We are gonna apply it and then we are gonna brush the eyebrow to the position that we want them to stay. Okay, let's start with this one. Yeah, it feels a little bit cold. But there we go. How are you doing with the aroma? Do you need a mask? You're okay? Very well. Okay, your eyebrows are completely covered with the sealer. Just remove the excess here. the brushing process mm. with you they're gonna go with their pinky one
now it's going to set in that position we just need to let it dry We're just going to let it dry now and cover it. I put this on you so it covers your eyebrow. I cover your eyes a little bit. We just need to wait for it to dry. Now, it's very important for you not to uh, get them wet or sweat because this will completely cut the process of sealing your eyebrows. So, if, I don't know what you have to do right now, but try to get it a little bit slowly, not to sweat because when we sweat, the eyebrows is the first area that get the sweat because as you know our eyebrows is the blockage of sweat to our eyes protects our eyes from the sweat yeah it's like a blockade from it so that is very important and keep in mind that maybe you can get a, a tissue uh, in case you're sweating try to dry your eye your um, forehead I'm sorry like this to prevent to get to your eyebrows also not touching your eyebrows at all not scratching or sleeping uh, with your pillow in your head so try to sleep the way up I know it can be difficult but it's just gonna be for 24 hours okay it's ready let's remove the excess here Wow, looks amazing, looks very good on you. Okay, now you can take a look. You have a mirror right here in the table. Let me know what you think. You like them? Yeah, it's like you're wearing makeup, but it's gonna stay like that. But it's gonna stay like that for two whole months. Mm -hmm. You can come for a retouch and it will be 20% off if you come in a six weeks, six weeks time. Yeah, you would like me to put the appointment for you? Okay, so let's put your appointment for six weeks. We are going to be calling you with the information. Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, it was a pleasure. Take care and... You look amazing. Okay, goodbye. Hey, what's up? Uh huh. Hmm. What happened to your eyebrows? <laughs> oh, well, I. Do you see that? They are a bit overgrown. Mm, yeah, I think I have time. Oh, actually, uh, I should be taking my break now. Yeah, my neck's a little bit stiff. I've been typing all this. Let me just send this email out. Mm-hmm. Mm, did I have time to go? Ah, oh, that's okay. Happens to me all the time. Yeah, right now my eyebrows are a complete mess. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, you know that I got a new mirror? Isn't that lovely? So cute. So small. Look at that. <laughs> okay, yeah, you get this. You're wearing makeup at the moment. Mm, let me get a Kleenex here. With that should be enough. 
I don't know if I have makeup removal. Let me just check this out. Okay, we are gonna need this, definitely. Maybe trim you a little bit with this. And our tweezers. You're thinking I'm getting microblading? Microbladed, yeah. My experience, <laughs> my experience wasn't good. No, you know how I am. I'm a crybaby. It hurts so much for me. Yeah. No, uh, but seriously, the thing about microblading is that I started noticing that my eyebrows was falling off and I got scared. Mm -hmm. So I didn't like that at all. Okay, let me just remove your makeup from your eyebrows. Okay. It's a good cleaner. Yeah, it's the one that I use for my face. I take it all the times here. It helps me quite a lot when I feel sweaty or I've been outside. So it's a good cleanse. And it works well for makeup too. To remove it. Ooh, yeah. I noticed what you were telling me. Quite a grown up down here and at the top. Yeah, it's actually a good eyebrow makeup that you have. Quite nice. There we go. Good. Okay, so what do you want me to do? You want me to just uh, take out what's overgrown, or we can maybe reshape it a little bit? Where did I leave the... Let me just see. How is your shape overall? In my hands. Well, the shape looks good. Um, again, uh, maybe it's a bit too much, too wide. Maybe we can trim it a little bit at the top. Uh, seems a bit too long. The eyebrows. Oh, that's normal. Mm -hmm. Just reshape it in place to its uh, natural form that you have at the moment. Like here. You can brush it up and just cut the excess. Is that okay? Yeah. Oh, you know what? My hands are a little bit sleepy, slipper with the cleanse that I was doing. Let me just take it off. There we go. Yeah, because it was sliding. <laughs> okay, much better. Looks great. Now let's do this part. Okay, it doesn't change that much, okay? It's just so it doesn't look too long when you brush it up. I know that you have noticed it, right? Yeah, it happens, especially for people that their hair tends to grow super fast. Lucky you. <laughs> Good. Now I'm um, gonna start at the top. 
you know, I'm not gonna use the tweezers. I'm gonna use my leg here. I know I got it. Okay, just worry a bit. Should be around here. So I'm going to shade a little bit at the top, just a bit, okay, okay, done, good, just a little bit, that looks good, good, now let's do it here too. Yeah, normally when you do it at the top, it's better to use uh, this kind of blades. Doesn't hurt and you do a more precise work to shape it. Mm, well, you can use it beneath here too, but you may have to pull a little bit and it's a bit, little bit larger, so you want a smaller one. But still, it's better to pluck it. It takes longer to grow back. Yeah, with this, just, just, you know, shaving. That's good. Mess up a space here. that they are even good you know I get obsessed with eyebrows might not be the best on my own but I love to do it on others yeah <laughs> okay this one looks good Now the curvature here at the top looks a bit odd. Did you do something? Oh, you had an accident. <laughs> Shave it accidentally. It happens. Uh, I once did it. And it was it was not pretty. <laughs> yeah, the top right here. Yeah, I, I didn't notice it, but with a little reshaping and just with makeup, it covers it. You did your whole line there, right? Because I didn't notice it before. Yeah, it's been a while since I did your eyebrows. Okay. No, it's okay. You just can add makeup there. Nobody will notice. Okay, let's start with the tweezers. I want to take too much here just what it's overgrown like that You know, it's better to do it faster. That way it doesn't hurt that much because when you do it slowly, you give your mind time to get the pain. 
Okay, it depends on the person actually. Oh, it's a bit red. Uh, I have some aloe vera here. Let me just put you a little bit there. I don't want it to be all red. Okay. I use this for my hands because I'm having some issues with how dry they are. So let's just put a bit. Like that. You want me to put them some makeup too? Yeah? Okay. Good. Now this one is a little bit more overgrown, so it takes more time. You know, I don't know if I ever told you that the best time to do your eyebrows is after taking a shower, a warm shower or a bath. Yeah, because your skin gets open, the pores. So it's easier to remove and it doesn't hurt that much. Yes, it's hard in the winter when your face is dry. <laughs> you want to trim your eyebrows, uh, not fun. Not fun at all. Yeah, you can take the mirror here. Let me see if I have for the eyebrows. Okay, my tone it's a little bit lighter, but I think it will work for you too. Mm, I brought the wrong spoolie. Yeah, this one is quite small. I don't like that. I like the big ones. But uh, the brush is quite good. Okay. You wanna... I'm um, mess a little bit here, so I'm gonna just Shave it a bit. Just a little bit, not too much. So right here in the tail, it goes like this, so... I just fix it like that. And I do the same on this side. good you see now that you don't notice that you're missing hair right here in the curvature because we are brushing it and like hiding it like a person that is bald at the top and tends to slip the rest of the hair to the side to hide some of the baldness the same principle here with the eyebrows No, there's absolutely nothing wrong to hide. Nope. I mean, it's okay if you're still not ready to accept it, that it's happening to you. It's human nature. Not everyone's ready at the same time to accept something like that. I know I will hide it <laughs> for some time. And then just let it go. 
and it's okay if you don't accept it at all, ever. You do you, you know? Okay, good. Yep, we cover it completely. So now even if you don't have makeup in your eyebrows, all you have to do is use a spoolie or a brush like this one. But I do think that a spoolie or a brush like this one is much better for that. You're just gonna brush it to the top. And if you have a little bit of hair gel, apply it right here and brush it to the top, to the curvature here. And it will cover the little bald spot while it's growing back. Mm -hmm. Most of the time you don't need uh, makeup for your eyebrows you have your eyebrows are great if you have enough hair, right? And your brows, you just need to brush it in the right direction and use a little bit of gel. Uh, that's the new trend, I believe, right now that they are brushing all the way up and just going wild with it, not applying too much makeup as it was in the 2010s. To be honest, I, I like that more natural looking but I'm not um, not gonna go with wild eyebrows to be honest I'll just my natural eyebrows and just a little color that's it no need to frame it and to put this and that oh and, and you were telling me that you wanted the microblading right to add more volume or color I think you have enough volume, to be honest. Um, for microblading, it's mostly to reshape your eyebrows. If you don't have a shape per se, let's say that you over pluck your eyebrows, and you just have a thin line or you're missing hair in several parts, microblading is a good option. Yeah, because if your eyebrows are already beautiful with full hair on it, um, you just want to reshape it. Uh, yeah, it tends to fall out. For me, it did fall quite a lot of eyebrows. And now I have some missing and it's not growing back. I have to continue applying color to it. Mm. For me, for me personally, I wouldn't do it again. But it's a good option for people that mess up their eyebrows or, or maybe they don't have eyebrows for whatever reason and they want to uh, do it for reshaping purposes. But if you have healthy eyebrows, I wouldn't touch them. Yeah, because they will fall off. Yeah, they are blading. It's a blade that is cutting your eyebrow. And sometimes they don't, it doesn't grow back because it has ink in it. So, if you don't need it, don't do it and there are other options if you want to be applying more color have more color or per se volume there's henna henna is pretty safe and it's not gonna mess up with your eyebrows we should try it first or tint in too um, with henna the thing is that some people are allergic and for others it creates uh, uh, there's this thing that you cannot color your hair when you have henna on it. I read it somewhere. But tinting is a good option. Yeah, it tints your eyebrow so it looks a little bit fuller. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a course on that and start doing it on my free time. Yeah, because I gave up on microblading. I don't. Yeah, you can look in the mirror. Looks cool, huh? <laughs> Yeah, uh, when I do microblading, it's only for uh, reshaping. Uh, I don't do on healthy eyebrows anymore. I don't accept clients for healthy eyebrows. Mm -mm. No, because uh, I have received people's messages that they're telling me, oh, my eyebrows are falling out. Uh, and I always tell them that's a possibility when you have a lot of eyebrows, you're blading them. Mm -hmm. 
So right now, um, I'm just doing it for people that uh, need a reshaping or are lacking of any brows at all. Yeah, but I'm taking a course on tinting, so maybe we can do it sometime. Tint your eyebrows and you will notice the difference. Yeah, it does. Uh, doesn't look as dramatic as with microblading, but it doesn't hurt. It doesn't take that much time. It looks good. Uh, it lasts for about eight weeks, and then you just can keep doing it, and it's completely safe. Your eyebrows are safe. But this is for people like you that have good eyebrows. You just need a uh, little taken care of in certain parts. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. You're welcome. You're welcome. If you want to thank me a little bit more, you can bring me a little bit of juice. <laughs> yeah, I have to continue doing this. Oh, you're inviting me for lunch? Okay, well, I'm still having an hour left. Is that okay? Okay, good. So, yeah, you're welcome. Take care and just bring me the juice. <laughs> okay, see you later. Yeah, cafeteria. Okay, good. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. This part is retouch with Let's go down here Hello, I'm Joni. I will be your eyebrow technician today Can I have your name please? Thank you Okay, you're a client of us. You had your eyebrows microblade a couple of years ago. How did it go? Oh, nice. Did you enjoy it? Very good. Let me just put on my gloves here. So tell me, what are you looking for today? Okay, you want to redo them? In the exact same way, I'm seeing here that it was hair by hair. Mm. Okay, you're looking for a mixture of microblading. Okay, 
Oh yeah, the micro shading. Yeah, that option is just amazing. It's a mixture with hair by hair microblading at the front of the eyebrow, which will be this area. And at the end, in the little tail, we use micro shading. This way, the eyebrow looks more natural and it's especially very good for people that are missing some parts of their eyebrows or is not um, so thick on the hair. So it works perfectly for those type of eyebrows. Um, right now, are you wearing anything in your eyebrow? Makeup? Uh, how long did it last your last service? Almost the, the two years. Amazing. Do you have to fill them up? Just by the end? Okay. So if you allow me, can I remove the makeup right now so I can look at your brow? Thank you. Very good. Let's see. Is this a way that you want to do your eyebrows uh, makeup wise? Uh, this thick. You're open for suggestions. Okay. Mm. Well, you use quite a lot of makeup in your eyebrow. Mm, I see. Oh, the gaps are back, right? Uh, did you make a little research about them? Uh, yeah, micro shading is a little bit different. It's a different technique. It involves uh, little dots that creates a whole shadow. While regular microblading is just drawing little eyebrow hairs. Mm. Okay. Let me just get my pointer here. So, I noticed that in this area, right here in the middle, there is a big gap that micro shading will be great to fill up, going down to the little tail. Uh, the frontal part of your eyebrow looks good, but a little bit of hair by hair drawing should be good to harmonize the eyebrow. This area should be exactly the same. Um, might need a little bit more of hair by hair at the start. Then by the middle, a few gaps here and there. And the tail is in good condition, but we have to harmonize it with the one here, that they look a little bit uneven, so we want to bring them to the same position. Okay. Now let's see. We will have to recreate your eyebrow, a whole new design if you want. You were telling me that you're open for suggestions, correct? Mm-hmm. Well, with your current eyebrow, it's mostly a soft curve right here in the angle. I do remember that when we did your microblade in the first time, we did an angle like here, like an L angle more or less, kind of like what I have on this eyebrow, <laughs> more triangle. While well, yours is pretty curvy here. Well, it's very good to have this curve. With your gaps tend to get lost right there. So we're gonna frame your eyebrow with hair by hair and then fill it up with the micro shading. This one does have to be retouched with the design because it's a little bit uneven 
between two. Uh, do you twist them quite a lot? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I do notice here. So your eyebrows are a bit overgrown. Uh, let's start by trimming that so we can recreate the design of your natural eyebrow and then add a little curvature in the center part. Okay. Just gather my tools here. I do remember that the first time that we did your eyebrows, it wasn't that intricate. Yeah, it was more filled up. But it's quite normal that it happens when we overdo our eyebrows. them up oh, kind of filled up a few of the gaps not too much now I'm gonna shape the upper part where it's overgrown You may need to cut a little bit. Okay. I'm going to trim your eyebrow a little bit on this part because it grows quite a lot right here. That, not too much. Yeah, for some people, unfortunately, when we cut our eyebrows a certain way for a long periods of time, it doesn't grow back. Yeah, it all depends on our genes. Okay. And for the other people, they can shave their whole eyebrows and it comes back right if nothing happened. Yeah, <laughs> some people are more fortunate than others. There we go. Let's trim a little bit underneath. Yeah, we are re just removing the little stray pairs that are here. Through the middle too. Now with your issue, which is that your eyebrows are not growing as they normally should, we have to be very careful when you twist them and when you want to recreate a new design. Try not to peek inside the eyebrow hairs because it's probably uh, what caused these little gaps here. You try a little uh, thin eyebrow look. Yeah, it was super popular back in late 90s, early 2000s. A lot of eyebrows were lost <laughs> during that time. 
and not all of them grew back. Yeah, so unfortunately not for everybody they got their big eyebrows again. There we go. Looks good. Now, you have a mirror right here on your side. I want you to look at something. So, I have trimmed your eyebrows from the top. In the top, it's better to use a plane, such as this one. It's quite good to show just the upper part of the eyebrow, but never go inside the eyebrow itself. Just on the little stray hairs that you see there. On the lower part is what we do with the tweezers. Now, on this part here, where you have your little gap. Okay, here we're gonna be creating the hairs with microblading. Mm -hmm. That's to fill up just that curvature, because if we do micro shading there in specific, it's not gonna look as natural as we want. All as we do little hairs, it's gonna look like your eyebrow. And we're gonna be covering it with what you have left right there okay and on this eyebrow the gap is right in the middle so we can do the whole micro shading just right there but we're gonna have to remove your tail because it was growing in a wrong mm -hmm. it was growing in a wrong way uh, it's going a little bit up that it should. I uh, believe that maybe you've been twisting a little bit lower than you should and the eyebrow has been rising up into the side. So we're just gonna shave it a little tail here and create hair by hair and then fill it up with the micro shading. So it looks even with this eyebrow. Yeah, it's quite common when we do our own eyebrows uh, we tend to see ourselves in the mirror but sometimes we miss we don't see how don't see how symmetrical our eyebrows are so it's better to use a ruler or just to mark it it's the best way so right here it looks like your eyebrow is like this mm -hmm. yeah it looks a little bit odd going up I know that you have noticed it. That's why you've been covering with makeup, right? And a little bit more in the tail. Yeah, that's how I what I noticed when you rem I removed the makeup. Yeah, it's completely normal. We tend to <laughs> try to fix it with makeup. So we are gonna make it even with this eyebrow, which is gonna make it look good. Okay. Okay, let's start by. Measuring the gap here. Okay, five. Let's see here. This part is point six, so we are one point uneven on each side we're just gonna make them even okay I'm gonna be doing a few markings in your face so right now we have this one right here with this one right here like so. Let's mark right here in the middle. That should do it. Quite good. Now, I'm 
gonna take a picture here. Can you look straight forward, please? Thank you. Good. Okay, well, let's take our measurements. We're going to be marking that area specific right there. Doing our marking here. Good. Good. There we go. Quite precise here. And there. Now let's just bring it together gonna trace how the eyebrow is gonna be along with the curvature that we're gonna recreate for you yeah like connecting the dots <laughs> you do remember Not done yet. That's it. Good. Okay, now you can take a peek with the mirror, please. I would like you to look at the design. That's how it's going to look. This is like the line art that we're going to be working with. It's going to be the same wipe and on the same design. Do you like it like that? We can make any changes you want at the moment. We can even raise it up a little bit, go a little bit slimmer if you want. But this is uh, currently the perfect sizing for your eyebrow and head shape and face structure. Mm -hmm. So you approve it? Excellent. So now, now let's work on the tones for your eyebrows. Mm, let's see. For you, I would like to go. Let's do a color testing here. Do you have any plans on changing your hair color in the next? year or so and by changing the color i'm not meaning going two tones even three tones up or down but it's fine even if you go lighter or probably with reds will be a little bit of problem if you change into a really uh, deep red well lower red it will be fine but lighter red there could be a little bit of problem if with the tones. No? Two tones up and down, it's completely fine. Yeah. So let's do a couple of testing with the colors. Okay. I believe we're gonna do good with number 22 and 4. Try twenty two forty two. Hmm, looks nice. Okay, I think 
we're gonna go with the first one. It's a nice tone for you. Gonna prepare our mixture. I do remember that you wanted numbing solution in your first appointment. Do you want it again? was forgetting. I'm so sorry. Okay. It's gonna help numb the area so you don't feel any discomfort. I'm gonna go a little bit up. Some people tend to have discomfort and itchiness at the top even when we are not microblading so I'm just putting a little bit more well, it takes a couple of minutes to start making their it's magic prepare our tools here. Let's do a touch test, okay? Let me know if you can feel this. 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 Okay, you're ready. So we're going to start with the hair by hair. Okay, let's do a little test run first. Can you feel this? Good? Okay. This is the fun part to create the hair by hair eyebrow. Are you doing good? Yeah. Very good. We have a little bit more of light here. Let me see. Like that. Let's continue. Now the tricky part is right here in the arc where we're gonna create a whole new curvature. I saw you twitch, are, are you okay? You sure? Don't be afraid to tell me, don't be ashamed. 
pain is completely normal for some people. Some person have a lower uh, dread of pain and they feel things uh, more intense. So it's completely fine. We can apply more numbing cream if you want. You sure? Okay. Good. Yeah, I'm one of those persons. I cannot stand the needles. No. I believe it's something genetic. I don't know. But it, it does hurt me quite a lot, even with numbing cream. Yeah. <laughs> I tried it once and... No. Yeah, it, it was with my microblading master. And she is amazing. She has the most beautiful hand. And nope. <laughs> it was too much for me. Yeah, that's why I don't have any tattoos. No, not even one. Microblading was the closest to have a tattoo that I had. But no, it was just too much for me. People that do it without numbing cream are so brave to me. <laughs> you have no idea. We are doing the hair by hair now. In a bit, we're gonna be moving with the micro shading. You remember they're gonna tend to get swollen and very 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 red in some cases we have a new technique that helps soothe the area preventing this and it's not gonna completely remove it but it's not gonna be that noticeable and you won't have to hide for the two days that Normally the eyebrows get very swollen sometimes and very red. So with this, it just helps it suit and feels quite nice. Yeah, it's an eyebrow mask in dry with air that helps, yeah, it helps quite a lot and it's already included in your service. So don't worry. Or any extra costs. Okay, let me just check how the measurements are going. That's nice, good. Yeah, we are like a little hat that covers uh, from here to the top and blows out uh, air with a little bit of steam remember not to wet your eyebrows and it just feels quite nice yeah maybe if we had that technique when I did my microblading I wouldn't have been suffering that much I'm fine with my eyebrows now. Here we go. Okay, I think we are ready to proceed for the micro shading. Now with the micro shading, we're going to use a different tool, which is this one. Uh, looks kind of scary, but don't worry. It's just so uh, we can work faster with the micro shading Okay so. I'm gonna 
ask you not to move, okay? Ready? Very good on you. Yeah, definitely. Okay, let's continue here. It does look great. Uh, yeah, it lasts uh, at least two years, but it depends on the person and how they take care of it on the first couple of weeks. Oh yes, you, you have no idea how many people mess up their microlading by getting their brows wet. Yeah, quite a lot. We are able to save those eyebrows, but yes, at extra cost. Yeah, yeah. Normally our warranty is uh, you have to come up to the second session, of course, for a finish up. And after that, you have a whole month guarantee that your eyebrows are gonna stay great shape after that month if you continue not um, taking care of your eyebrows properly uh, we do, uh, charge a little bit of a fee just for a touch up yeah but it's not like the whole cost of recreating a whole new eyebrow Almost done. Looks quite nice. Quite nice. Okay, let's remove the markings now. You didn't twitch anything. You didn't feel anything. That's great. Now we have to wait a couple of minutes to start the suiting mask. We want the ink to stay stable for a bit. Removing almost all the markings. Very good. So let's set uh, your appointment for the touch up. Remember that it's important to come to your touch up because that's how your eyebrows are finished. Right now is the first part, and then you need the second part to finish it up, okay? I have to take off my gloves now. I need it for the next part. Okay. So it needs to be done in the next couple of weeks. 
I have availability for the evenings. How long does it take? Uh, around for you, 10 minutes on each eyebrow plus uh, the five minute setup. So I would say give it a take half an hour. Yeah, okay. So I'm setting you up for that appointment. We're gonna be calling you to confirm it. Very good. Uh, let's prep you up for the suiting mask. Now, what you can expect with this is quite a lot of relaxation. A lot of people even fall asleep with it. So, don't worry if you start noticing that you're feeling sleepy through it. It takes around 10 minutes or so. Okay, just stay like that. So do you feel comfortable like that? No, it's not going to cover your eyes. There we go. Good. So we're going to set up the machine for... I would set 8 to 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. So during that time... You can close your eyes and relax or take a magazine or be on your phone. It doesn't matter. The only thing that I ask you is not to lean forward. Stay in this position as you are right now. Yeah, if you please <laughs> can do that. So it doesn't leak on through the mask. Normally when you lean like this, it's going to start dripping to the front. So we don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? So I'll be back in around 10 minutes, so we can continue, okay? Very good. Excuse me. Now enjoy. It's quite relaxing.
Okay. We are done. Let me just remove this. All right, good. How did it go? Feeling a little bit sleepy? Oh, it's normal. So I have printed out your information booklet on how to take care of your eyebrows for the next two weeks before you come back with us. The same as always, just don't get them wet for the next two to three days. Uh, be very mindful with sweat, <laughs> also that. If you feel a burning sensation that it hurts, you have a little cane in your package that you can apply just a little bit into it. But if you have questions or doubts, please feel free to call us. Okay. It was a pleasure. I'm super glad that you enjoy your eyebrows now. I'll see you in two weeks. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for booking with us. I'm Joni and I will be in charge of you today. I see here in our information that you're looking for microblading. What time is that specific? For your hairline. Oh, of course. This is actually our newest system and we are using uh, something that is not as mm, hard as an other microblading. We're using a different kind of blade. Let me show you a sample here. That is pretty small and doesn't have that sensation as other in especially the eyebrow and our hairline. So for your hairline, I'm going to start by inspecting the area. Let me just set your hair up. Or is it that you're worried about your hairline? It's receding a little bit and a few balding spots. Okay. Yeah, I can do notice it in some areas. Let me just put it just so it stays in place. in this area in particular that you have some little gaps that is not continuous with your natural hairline which for you should be like this and in this area in particular it has a few gaps now we can create some little hairs to fill it up with microblading here in the front, we could do a little bit more just to fill up so it looks fuller in your whole section here. Up here, we can do some on this corner. Those are the areas in particular that are boring you. Any other area? At the top. Okay, let's see. Well, in this area, we don't really recommend this system because this area in particular, it gets covered by your hair. And if we do microblading, you might be losing some of the hairs that you have here. And when we do it in the hairline, it just gets covered by the strands of hair that we create. But at the top, it might look huh, a little bit odd, so we don't recommend it on this area in particular, since it's not that much, it can be covered by your hair. So, we have one area here, second area, and here. So, now, let me just draw your whole hairline area here. Now I'm going to fill up the 
with color pencil in the way that I should be doing it with microblading so you can take a look and let me know if you like it that way or give it more depth and fill it up a bit more a mock-up on how it should be looking the strands of hair that I'm gonna be creating are finer and it's gonna look more and more like your hair now the ones that I'm applying right now is just to fill up because I want you to see how your hairline should be looking at the end okay now you can look you have a mirror right here on the side You like it that way yeah, actually I believe that this area in particular was the one that is troubling you more you do your hair to the side to cover it okay so this way when your hair you put your hair all the way to the back it's gonna look completely full and as a regular headline mm -hmm. so you like it this way excellent let me just prep you up gonna remove those marks there no it doesn't hurt it's not um, as harsh as the other microblading and in your case if you are not good with discomfort we can apply a numbing solution yeah okay It doesn't take that long especially for you that your gaps are pretty focused in certain areas it's gonna be very easy to fill that yeah because sometimes we can recreate a whole hairline but with you it's just little spots of hair that we're gonna be creating so it's much faster the numbing solution numbing solution is included on your service so there is no extra charge Let's wait a little bit. So I need to ask you a few questions. Do you have plans on changing your hair color in the next six to twelve months? Now this is very important because if you change your hair color, the microblading that we're gonna be doing is gonna not look the same as the hair color that you might be using. You can go one tone or two tones uh, with what you have right now but not too dark or too light yeah it will be very difficult to match up with what you have this microblading lasts for around six to twelve months depending on the person and you're gonna require a touch-up in around four weeks yeah 
so no plans on changing your hair color very good so let's match up your hair with the tint that we are going to be using This one. Okay, let's try another one. This two look pretty similar. Let's try again. Okay, I believe this one should be the one that we're gonna be using in you. Let's do a little test up on the area I'm going to be touching you. Let me know if you can feel it. Ready? Can you feel this? Can you feel this? This? Excellent. You are ready. Let's start applying a new blade here. Can you feel that? You're fine? Excellent. I'm doing the strokes in the way that your hair is growing. So it looks completely natural. There it goes. Good, 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 good. Now with you, it's a lot faster since it's just a fill up. Recreating a whole hairline it takes almost an hour. So yeah. Okay. I'm gonna move your head to the side. Like that. Very good. Just fill this up again. Yeah, I'm going to tell you about that and the aftercare on how to treat it. Very good. Now this hairline should stay in this way for most of the time it's 10 months, just in rare cases it only lasts 6 months, but as so I was saying 12, 10 months it's the common rule of it. If 
Yeah, the touch up is for the coloring to be stained because it tends to fade out. So it's very important to come to your to your appointment. Okay, I'm gonna show you now. We are not finished yet, but I just want you to sh see. You can take the mirror. You can see it looks like baby hairs and goes in different length. It just completely fills up. It's not like a straight line. It's how the hair start growing in that position. And then when we put your hair down and you start styling it in any way, it's gonna look completely natural. I like it. So glad. Yeah, we also do full makeup microblading, semi-permanent and permanent. Permanent lasts for around uh, 24 months, semi-permanent 12 months. Yeah, it depends on the tint that we use and yeah, different pricing. Yeah, I can give you a brush here after we're done. touches now. There we go. Let me just clean the area. Okay. Good. You can look again. It's gonna start looking red and redder because of the blade but right now it's how it should be looking like it very good so now the aftercare in the next 48 hours we are gonna avoid water or getting sweaty especially because this is the area that we tend to sweat a bit more so we're gonna stay very calm try to be as fresh as possible and not wet the area so that means no showers or if you're batting maybe with cold water that you don't perspire and cover your hair but no shower at all you can wash your face with a towel but avoid water in the area at all costs very very important i'm gonna be sending you home with a cream that is gonna help you with the sensation of burning that you're gonna feel in the area after the Dilorcani, it starts fading out. But don't worry, it's not that much. Uh, but for some people, it's discomfort. And with this, we're gonna be preventing that. You're gonna be applying it every six hours. And don't worry, I'm gonna give you a brochure with all the information on how to do it. After 48 hours, well, during the 48 hours, you're gonna notice that it gets a little bit red and maybe a little bit swollen. That is completely normal. After a couple of hours, it's going to start fading out. And very important, coming to your next appointment in four weeks for a touch-up in the color. That would be the final stage of it. And that one is included in your pricing right now. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, this is discomfort, it depends on the people. Um, some people are very sensitive to it others not 
if you tend to be very sensitive, you can call us and we're going to provide you another solution that is going to help you with that. Do you have any questions? Okay, let me just remove this. Another thing, try not to touch the area. And if you need to touch it to put on the, um, the cream, use a cotton swab such as this one and apply gently just a light layer not too much because if it gets too wet the color starts fading mm -hmm. but in case uh, you have any more questions you can feel free to call us okay yeah I'm gonna book you for four weeks time same time are you okay with that okay uh, yeah I have you scheduled for that time very well so that will be all it was a complete pleasure uh, taking care of you i hope that you enjoy your na new hairline of course take care and see you in four weeks bye bye